Hi! Today in this video I'm going to talk about this camping cot, which is the ever advanced, the ever advanced camping cot. And so you'll see here everything that comes with it. And we're going to talk about everything that comes with it, how to assemble it, and some of the pros and cons of this camping cot. So first of all, this is one of the legs. The other leg is already installed because I didn't think you wanted to watch me install both legs and take that long. So this is one of them. So know that there's another one that's already in there. These are some shock corded, I said legs, but it's really the side pieces. So shock corded side pieces. We have five legs, a carrying bag. And let me tell you, you know how it is sometimes? You buy something, you take it out of the bag and you never get it in again. That's often the case with tents. Not the case with this, it easily fits in the bag. There's plenty of room. You could even throw more gear in here if you wanted to, like extra tent stakes or maybe, you know, your whatever you use in the campfire. So very nice bag with a good zipping closure. We have instructions, the five legs that go underneath, and then this cover, this is your actual sleeping area. And then here is the other leg that's already installed. You see it here inside the, um, inside the cot fabric. So the way that you would install it is you open the legs, you put one in this side, and then here I'll show you how to do the other one. You'll see that some people say in the reviews, it's nice to have an extra set of hands when you do this. That's true, but you can do it on your own. The reason that they say that, notice, and maybe you would call this a con, except that it later becomes a pro. So call that what you want. But you see right here, there's a hole. See that? And that's where you slip the end of the leg. So we're gonna slip it in there. I keep saying leg, it's not really a leg, it's a side. So here's where people talk about the second set of hands because you have a little gap here and you've gotta get the end in here. Well, it just wants to miss the end unless you kind of guide it into there. So you see you guide it in. We're gonna guide it into this one. And this all goes along really well until it gets to the point that you have a hard time reaching the end and the end of your side. So that's really why people say it's nice to have a second set of hands. But, you know, it's not necessary. If you just are patient, work with it. See there, we're gonna put it in that one. And it's this very end one that can get just a little bit tricky. I, I really kind of think the more you use it, the more it's gonna be a little easier to get it in there. All right, I think I have it pushed in. There you go, just like that. And then you just take this piece and put it over the end so that you don't get any shifting on your side pieces. That's really important. So I like that they have that feature where they've closed these ends on all four of the corners and you really bring your pole in and out of this piece. That stops it from slipping out while you're sleeping. So that was good thinking. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move it so that you see there's the, the name. Te technically that's the top. I'm just gonna move it that way so that when it's done, we're at the top. Okay, now we're going to work on these five legs. I love this design. I don't know about all of you, but I've had cots before where I struggle and struggle, right, to get the legs on correctly. I've used a hammer and pried it. You don't have to do that with these. These have an interesting locking mechanism. You see how they hinge, right? So what that does is, here's your width of how you really want it, but they're going to allow, allow you to fit here right between, you push down, you hear them snap in, and then you have this little connector. So that is really a pro as to how these legs go together. And you can see how quickly this works. Okay, very nice. Now there's a con, a couple of cons here too. And that is, I never like to see plastic on products. So these are plastic, this, this and your locking mechanism are plastic. If those ever break, we're probably gonna have to replace the cot. Or maybe you could get, you know, really creative and figure out a way to hold it together. Um, but that's a little bit of a con. And I think though at our value for the cot and the comfort level, and then there's something else that's a real pro I'm gonna tell you about in just a minute. I think that's a sacrifice that can be made. The cot is advertised that it will hold 250 pounds. So that's pretty generous, really. So they say 250 pounds, your plastic pieces aren't going to break and you can use it for a really long time. So let's hope that's correct. Kind of wish these weren't plastic. I would prefer metal, but you know, it is what it is, right? So let's flip this over 
And here you have your cot. You hear that? Nice and firm. Nice, nice cot so that you can be up off the ground, okay? Notice I hardly really had to refer to the instructions. I looked at them briefly when I first got it, but after that, I've kind of set them aside. The nice thing is though that they are laminated. So these can get wet, you can throw them in your bag, you can keep them in there forever. If you forget how to put it together, you'll be all right because you have these laminated instructions right in your bag. All right, so let's try this out. Here's a sleeping bag I have. So when you go camping or you have some kids, they have their friends over and you just wanna have an extra space to sleep, this is really nice for that. So I'm just gonna get in the bag here and I'm gonna to talk to you about one of the other pros of this, okay, so first of all, it's really comfortable. So that's an awesome pro because you want something that's very comfortable when you sleep. This definitely fits the bill. So I'm gonna move around. Okay, you hear my sleeping bag. Let me just take the sleeping bag off. So, because this is a thing that frequently when you go camping, you have somebody with a cot and every time they move around, it makes a bunch of noise. So annoying, right? So, notice I can move around, roll around in the night. It's not popping and cracking and making a ton of noise. It's really good, nice and quiet. So again, that's one of the pros of this cot is you can move around, you're not gonna bother the people that you're sleeping next to, and so that makes it really nice. One of the other things, it's only 11 pounds, so you know when you get it all in the bag and you have it there, if you're gonna hike for a really, really, really long time, 11 pounds can get kind of heavy, so that's where you have to make the decision, are you taking it, aren't you? But what a difference this makes. No more sleeping on, cold, on the cold ground. If there's gravel or rocks around, you don't have to worry about it poking you all night. You can put your sleeping pad on here, it stays put. It doesn't slide out from under your sleeping bag. So really a lot of pros to having a product like this. And honestly, the only thing, the plastic pieces, not real crazy about that. But other than that, I think this is really the perfect companion. 250 pounds, quiet, really pretty comfortable. I think this will last a really long time. So if you're looking for a good cot to take camping or just to have something around the house so that when your kids have friends over or you have friends over, somebody has a place to sleep, I highly recommend this cot. Thank you for watching and good luck.